We're still at the location of the previous video because we, we got something. Check it out. The locator. You've seen me using this one before and they, this is a tracker and it works with Bluetooth but it only works at 30 meters distance and this one is supposed to be a lot better if I can get it out. You got a device over here and, and you have two transmitters and I'm gonna put one on the drone. I think um, everything is in control now. Alright, now I'm gonna... I think I have to synchronize uh, the two. Red status light will flash when on. Yeah. Yeah? So it's on. So, select one of the buttons on the front of the lector to assign the tag to. Yeah. Okay, hold it down for three seconds. Uh, you, you have to put put uh, the oh you, yeah exactly because when you do assign it to a a, a number you have to get it close. close to yeah so then but I think it's got yeah. it now but maybe or would it have that one oh uh, yes so oh. we do the we do the, Okay, then then uh, I'm gonna put this one on two. Yeah, I think I got it. it's got it. Yeah. So the idea is, you you hear low beeps now, and now I'm turning into the direction. And it beeps much higher. Yeah. You see that? And that's how you can find it. Oh, well, let's try it out. You put it somewhere, and I'll see if I can find it. Look at him. He put it somewhere in a hidden spot. Of course, impossible to find for me. But let's uh, let's 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 try it. So I'm going to put it on channel 2. Oh, it's off now. Now it's on. Channel 2. Alright. Yeah. Did he pick up a sight signal? Um, Yeah, but it stops again. Well, probably because you put it inside a train that's all iron. Oh, I, I get a signal now. Okay, but I'll give you a hint because no, 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 don't give me a hint. But normally you can see which direction the drone landed. So, okay, I don't know what the thing is doing now, but you're in the off in the wrong direction. But I don't. Ah, uh, we'll see. Oh, you're very close. Very close. But it stops after a while. So I think you have to keep pushing it again.
so we'll see, man. I hear it stops. And now, see, it totally stops after a while. Uh, see? Then we have to read the manual because... I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was pointing in the right direction, yeah, right? Yeah. But I think because of all the iron of the... Because now it's working a lot better, you see that? Now it's doing very well. It was not the best hiding place, but... No, it's not problem. That's what you get when you don't play hide and seek for a long time. Yep. All right, very good. Well, most often it will be in an open place, but I will uh, I will fly it and put it somewhere, and then you'll have to find it. Okay. All right. Well, this is not your average guy. That is Martin, my son-in-law. This is Nevermind Your Own YouTube channel, and what we are doing over here is testing the locator. Uh, yes, there is a feature on the uh, DJI GO 4 app called Find My Drone, but when the battery is down or you lost signal and you don't know where it landed, it, it's not working. So it's always good to have an independent system with which you can track down your drone. What I like about this thing is that it's really tiny. It's really small. This is all that, that is on it. And I want to uh, give you a couple of tips. What you have to do if you want to, if you have to land your drone at a distance, if the battery is down. So the, the, the first tip is you have to go to the settings. Then um, it's always exciting to find where these options are. It's in the first menu and then advanced settings radio control signal lost normally this is set to return to home so if you lose signal it will want to return to home but if you have to land at a distance there is a good chance that while landing you may lose signal because there are trees in between because there are objects or whatever and then what happens it's landing it's losing signal and then it thinks, oh, I lost signal, I want to come home. And then it starts ascending again and wants to return to home. So the landing procedure will be canceled. So you want to make sure that if you have to land at a distance, that this thing is set to landing. A hover might also be possible. And then it will auto land when the battery is down, but you have to Put it at landing when the signal is lost so you start like this and when the landing you have to set it back so that's what i'm going to try uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to fly a little bit i'm going to land it at another position and i'll show you uh, how to do that and then um, Martin is going to try to locate the drone where it was with uh, the locator. There's another thing. If you run out of battery and you don't have enough to return to home, instead of trying to get as close as possible, you can also decide uh, I'm going to find a nice uh, landing spot with some battery left then you try to get as close as possible with your car or whatever transport you have and then when you are close you try to get connection again and when you have it you launch the drone again and fly back to where you are but you can only do this of course when uh, you're not completely run out of battery so let's fly the drone Take off. So, um, I'm going to land it at a distance, so I'm going to fly over here. What's, where, where shall we put it? So while Peter is flying the drone and trying to hide it, 
I put on the locator. And you, you're I'm already checking I'm where already it is. already checking if... So I'm going to find the spot now. If the drone is in my uh, I don't know. range. No. If I can okay. land it on... As you can see. Now I just I just have to. I wanted to land on the wagon, but I cannot do that. So I'm I'm I'll just have to do it over here. I can send Martin into the bushes, maybe, but I will I will not do that. All right, so. Now I'm here and I'm going to say um, first menu, return to home, signal loss, landing. That's what I have to do. Uh, I'm right above the spot where I think I can do safe landing. So I can either land it myself or have it land automatically. I will do an automatic landing right now. Landing and then turn off the transmitter. No signal. It says uh, no signal. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I know that it is landed right now. The other tip that I told you that would be I would get closer now. I would turn on the transmitter again, see if I can get connection. I can get connection so I could launch it again and bring it back home. It's not what we're going to do right now. The drone is at a distance and now you can find over here in this menu find my drone. And it will give you a map where you are and where the drone is. And as you can see, you will need internet to get to actually get the map, which I don't have here. But anyway, this is how you can get closer. But as you can see, this is I cannot zoom in further than this. So this is like a hundred meters away, which is not close enough. But with this, with a locator like, like this, you, you can do the last steps, which is good. Now Martin is trying hey. to find it. Okay, so I've lost my drone. Yeah. What do I do now? I'll put on the locator. I know uh, that... Double pressing this. That's, no, that's on now. Yeah, then it's yeah. on, yeah. So the tag on your drone is number, number two. two. You press it once. Okay. There it is. I think you have to move it more slowly. At what distance is it working? It doesn't say? No. Um. This is strange, because just now I, I got a signal. At what distance is it working? Six, uh, yeah. 200 meters. Oh. Alright, so, so probably we are too far uh, right now. Yeah. Go off in the... Okay, now I've got a signal. Yeah? Yep. He, he got signal. What, what you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is like maximum range, like 150 meters or something like that. It picks up the signal when I walk this way. I think you have to push the button again or what? Like this, and then now it's starting again. So oh, yeah. <coughs> You have to push the button, wait a little bit, and then we'll... Um... Can I push it again? No, no, not push it again. Okay, now I've got two lights. Yeah, I thought about sending you all the way over there. Oh. 
that was a really good hike. Man, how far did you park it? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Okay, so it's uh, the lights. But you can see uh, according to the lights. Yeah, how I've, far got, you I've are. got three lights right All now, right. so, so it's going awesome. up. So I'm still heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And now I've got only one light left. Oh, and now three, yeah. four. What do you think? I can see the drone, but <laughs> yeah, did this thing now it's off. Yeah, I, I started up again. It's not necessary to start it up again. It needs uh, it needs just a couple of seconds to, to pick up the signal and then... Yeah, but... Hmm? So it's... I already did, did that. Oh, and then you have to do it again. Push it again. Maybe, maybe I don't know. It's, now it's working. Yeah, but then after a few minutes it stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a, like, like a little bit of a disadvantage. Ta -da. And that is how you find your drone back. But um, like with everything you have to understand how it's working because it seems to turn off after a couple of minutes and then you have to put it on again and it takes a couple of seconds before it's working. But 150 meters definitely is better than 30 meters that I used to have with the other uh, tag. So um, I'm gonna keep this one on. Yeah, it's definitely better. And I know there are other um, locators with which you can locate the drone like two kilometers away. But to be honest, I don't think it's really necessary because if all is well, you should know approximately where it is and you can already go into that direction. You can use the find my drone feature on, uh, on the Go app to, uh, to locate it and get closer. And then the last 150 meters, you can use this one. So, hey, um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, then um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, support me on Patreon if you like to, so we can do more and more, and see you on the next video.